If you are a separate science student, you'll know you are getting a higher tier question like this, where you have six marks and it's a calculation. It's called a multi-step calculation because you need to have at least two equations. So let's have a go at this one together. We've got our values up here. We've got current. Um, we've got a copper rod, which is getting accelerated through a magnetic field. We've got its mass. Um, and we've got something called magnetic flux density. Uh, and we've got a length of wire in the field. And we're trying to work out velocity of the copper rod. There's only one equation that involves magnetic flux density, so that should be our like alarm bell thinking, this is the equation we're going to need to use. So I'm going to write it down first of all to be able to work out something from it. So the equation or the formula is this, uh, which is F equals B times I times L, which is on your equation sheet. And we need to work out the um, from that <coughs> the force on the wire. So actually, I don't really need to do massively do FIFA here, it's just timesing numbers together, but we'll do it anyway. So a uh, method of just inputting numbers into our equation. Uh, B, flux density is 0.3. Um, the current is 1.7. The length is no conversions here yet, 0.05. So if we times those all together, uh, we'll get a value for the force of 0.0255 uh, newtons. Now we've got that, we've got a couple of marks already. Let's see if we can find an equation that's got mass in it, because we haven't used that yet. Um, and we've also got time up here, because we haven't used that yet, and we're trying to find velocity. There's a couple of ways of doing this. I think the simplest way is to use this equation here, which is that force is equal to the change in momentum um, times by, sorry, divided by the time taken. So this one we are definitely going to have to use our uh, method for. So let's put our numbers in. We've just worked out the force, so 0 0.0255. Uh, the mass of the rod we know up here, we do have to convert that into kilograms. So divide by 1,000, that becomes 0 0.004. So over here, uh, the change of velocity I don't know, so I'm going to leave that as it is. We'll write an X. Uh, and then we've got our value down here. So let's rearrange it to find the velocity. I can times this side by 1.15, um, so I can get rid of it from the right-hand side, and we can divide that side by 0.04 to get rid of it from this side here. So we now have an expression to work out our change in velocity. It's now just a matter of plugging uh, numbers in to see what it comes to. Uh, we do also get um, a marks for doing that final stage. Uh, and then change of velocity can be equal to uh, 0.95625, which is a really big, weird number. Uh, also a really long number, lots of decimal places. It doesn't mean it's wrong. Um, just follow the method and you'll be fine.